Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about, well, I mean, if you read the title you already know, but I'm going to say it anyway, laughter. Um, I was looking through a couple different ideas on what to talk about and the, lot, the idea that came, that stuck out to me was the, the psychological value of laughter. When I read that, I kind of considered the idea of the phrase, laughter is the best medicine. Laughter is an interesting thing though, because even though that phrase is true, there's also a reality, a truth, a, a truthful reality that contradicts that also realistic statement. So laughter is the best medicine because when you laugh about things, you have a tendency to feel more at ease. But what exactly is laughter? Other than the obvious response to something that you find humorous or the mental response to having something, you know, like tickle or something like that. Well, first of all, laughter more down to its core is actually technically a response to a specific type of pain. Not a lot of people consider this when we think they, we think laughter in general, just because who would? When you think laughs, when you think giggles, you don't think, ouch, that hurt. <laughs> but the reality of it, actually, this is true. If there is needed proof, there are some circumstances out there where someone will get, I don't know, hypothetically punched, at first they'll laugh, but suddenly it'll turn into a... No, well, at first they'll... They won't laugh. They'll feel pain. They'll go, ow, or something like that. Suddenly, randomly, when you're going through something that's more painful than not, the person just suddenly laughs. Why? A lot of people's reactions, responses, would be, this is not a laughing matter. But... To a degree, maybe it is. Maybe it's not a humorous or a joyous matter. But because laughter is what it actually is, a generic response to pain, then that phrase may be entirely wrong. That particular statement that I just said is more hypothetical than not, but even I can um, confirm that sometimes when you're to a certain level of pain, laughter will randomly come out. You won't know why, but it does. It's not because you think the scenario is funny or anything. It's just that you're going through enough mental stress or pain to the point where it just kind of bursts out anyway. So that kind of gives the idea of where the negative side or the painful side of laughter comes from. So in that sense, where did the idea of, you know, laughter being a good thing come from? Well, actually, that one's more of a simple answer than not. That's actually the reason why this is not a history talk video. It's just because there's not much history to it it's more of what was then there now is the exact what was there then is the exact same as that what's there now so it's not really history that's why it's not one of those topics but anyway i digress um when it comes to this kind of stuff <laughs> well there's the laughter for this one but yeah see there's the proof right there she choked, she laughed. That should have been painful. Anyway. Also, try to keep your phone where it is. No. <laughs> Bad. Well, I meant where it is when I said it. <laughs> anyway. So, where does the whole good 
I don't, it's not really much of a pain thing when you tickle somebody. They have specific locations, though. Why? For example, um, for me, I'm ticklish almost anywhere. But what is the reason for this? It's because I feel an e equivalent amount of pain no matter what location of the body it is. You can tickle, like, me here. I'll laugh. Tickle me on the side. I'll laugh. Doesn't matter where you do it. The fact of the matter is because I've gone through a lot of painful, ty physically painful type of experiences in my past, it won't matter where I'm tickled. I'll laugh anyway. It's because you're tickling the place you're kind of rubbing your finger or foot or however you're tickling the person, what you're rub rubbing that body part against, on the other person, that's a very sensitive part of their body. Those sensitive parts are the parts that are painful, the most painful parts. Okay, now I'm going to finish. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's just an interesting aspect. Pain and laughter. It's kind of something that has always gone side by side, but has gone very, very, very unnoticed and very subsided to the point where most people don't really consider them equivalents anymore. It's just an interesting factor to me. But what do you guys think? Um, are there any details about this that you think I missed in relation to the two? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, though, make sure to push that like button. It's so far you can't see it anymore. And I think I just knocked my camera up a little bit. There we go. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you want to check out any other uh, discussion rant type videos like this, click link on the side of my here. And you'll find probably a lot of stuff either like this or just rants or whatever it may be. I don't know. If you like this kind of stuff, you may enjoy that playlist. If this isn't quite for you, click the link on the other side where you might find something that's more to your liking. Anyways, thanks again for watching this video. Gonna head off, but we hope to see you guys in another one. Bye!